Why causes electric motor to overheat? Electric motor in normal operation, like all other electric devices, produces heat. This heat is produced when electrical current passes through a conductor. You may notice that your cell phone charger produces some heat while charging your cell phone. Don't worry, this is very normal. Not only your phone charger produces heat, but also all other electrical devices do. All electrical wires, cables and components have electrical resistance. When the current passes through a wire, it produces heat as energy losses. While we can't prevent this heat production and losses, we should keep it within limits. In some cases the heat exceeds the allowable limits. If we are talking about electric motor overheating, then let's know what makes an electric motor overheat. Some causes of motor overheat are Overload Mechanical loads are connected and driven by electric motors. When the motor temperature is high, and we can't detect a reason, we usually ask mechanical team to disconnect the mechanical load and check the motor current. If it's normal, then the mechanical load may be higher than the motor rating. It's important to check the mechanical load, and make sure it's in the limits of the motor. Wrong supply voltage. Overvoltage causes the motor winding insulation damage. This can cause an internal short circuit, overheating the motor and burn it out. An undervoltage issue will cause the motor to draw higher current. And of course higher current means higher temperature rise and overheat. Load misalignment. Mechanical loads and the electric motor are shaft to shaft connected through a coupling. It's the mechanical team job to make sure the motor and the load shafts are good alignment. If not, the motor will face larger mechanical load and will overheat. We usually face this issue after the mechanical team disconnect the load, for any reason, and reconnect it again. Phase loss. If a three-phase motor work on two phases, we call this phase loss, then it will draw higher current on the remaining two phases. Its temperature will rise and it will overheat. Bad cooling. In some cases when I check electric motors with thermal camera and I find its temperature high. I check its cooling fan. You know what, in many cases the reason of the motor overheating is bad cooling, due to a plastic bag closing the cooling fan ventilation. I know it's a stupid reason. But trust me it deserve regular check for the cooling ventilation. Other cases the cooling fan blades broken due to harsh environmental conditions, like heat and cold. Keep in mind that the motor body should be cleaned to get cooled with the fan air. If the motor is in a closed, bad ventilated room, its fan will not be enough to keep it cooled. And the motor will overheat. Please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel, this is how you help me make more videos. Thanks. High environmental temperature. When you choose a motor, you should take into consideration the environmental conditions. Ambient temperature of the motor should be suitable to the working conditions. Unsuitable motor for the load. If the motor power is suitable to the load it's not enough to ensure that the motor will not overheat. Besides the motor power you should take into account the load cycle. Or load duty cycle. Which means the periods of the load. I have made a detailed video about motor duty cycle, you can find its link in the description. Also you will find a detailed article on my site in the description. Check it out. In the description below you can find my 100% free electrical apps for Android phones. I will be happy if you try one of them and rate it on Google Play Market. Thanks for watching.